Hello Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. This is a love reading for the 8th until the 14th. Let's see what is coming on here for you. As always, thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, tap the button, hit the bell, for I do upload weekly. Um, and if you like a personal reading with me, just remember these are general. If you like a personal reading with me, that information is in the description box down below. As I'm talking to you, I am shuffling and I have a few cards that came out. So I will also be clarifying with the Light Seers deck. I will pull a Twin Flame Journey card and I will also pull Romance Angel and we will close it out with the power of love. The Seven of Swords comes out in the past position. This is that shady, sneaky behavior kind of card. It is the card that is not to be trusted because some people come into your life, they take and then they leave and they leave you feeling like shit. In this way, <clears throat> it is coming out and as you're recognizing this type of behavior, whether by you or by another, and this is something that you are blocking, blocking anybody who's planning on coming in. This is not something that you're waiting on. So if some of you were in a relationship that was very deceptive, you're not waiting on this. You just, you're walking away from it. The Three of Wands says that there is something that is coming in, but you're blocking out this old energy with the Wheel of Fortune showing up. It is about divine timing. This is about realizing and closing a cycle. And this is what you are doing. You're moving into things that are new. We're gonna get clarifiers because when the Wheel of Fortune shows up, it is all in regards to what is it that you're closing out? Which direction is it that you want to move towards? It's a completion of the old, a completion of the old cycles. It is karma showing up, the cause and effects. And it is also saying, this is there's more coming towards you. So knowing what to let go of so you can experience, close out something that is new. Let's see with the romance angels. Some of you have paid some dues here in regards to a, a karmic situation. Let's see with what card wants to come out. We do have um, getting to know each other. And it says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So yes, some of you here are now on to something new. Again, leaving the past behind and really moving forward, getting to know some of you could be dating more than just one person, getting to know yourself through other people. And uh, for others of you, you're just kind of playing it safe at this time. We do have <clears throat> love only you. So right now you are really, there is a love for you, whether this love is the love that you're feeling for yourself. And yes, all that love should start from you as you learn to love you. You're getting to know you then you're really opening yourself up to great love coming in and there can be someone who is confessing i love only you again that is the card um message that is coming out doesn't have to be um it can be for some of you not for all of you the cards that come out is the ace of wands the ace of wands is a fire sign uh sagittarius leo aries but this is very passionate hot and heavy it is sexual, it is sensual, it is creative, it is bold, and this is something that is coming in after realizing what it is that you don't want to allow yourself to um, be taken advantage of here. And for the next card out for the Three of Swords, wow, we have the Queen of Wands. <laughs> Definitely got some fire energy going on here. This is one more time. There is... As you let go of something of the past that was very deceitful, what is coming in here for you or what has come in here for you is someone who's very passionate about you and you about them. This is such a beautiful, bold, creative, sexy connection here. And if you're not in one, the time frame here could be that it is within, within the season of Aries, could it be? And it could also be within the next few months. So again, it just depends where you guys are at this time. The next card out is the Eight of Wands in its reversal. Don't try to force any connections because it is about divine timing. So Eight of Wands in its upright when things are going with flow. And there's communication in this way. The Eight of Wands, it is not really moving things very 
fast. So it's just telling you to allow the wheel to turn, allow the cycles to turn so you know when to move forward next when this card comes out. So it's kind of blocking some different communications. Listen to your intuition right now with the high priestess at the bottom of this deck. And this is that prayer of God send me somebody or whatever this is. Just know that your voice is being heard at this time with the power of love. So this, I am seeing old cycles being closed out and something very beautiful and new coming in, hot and heavy, very sexual. But if you have blocked some communication or if you're closing out some old cycles here, just know that um, everything is happening in divine timing. Don't try to force a situation because actually what you will do is you will shut that down. We have uh, the card of elevation. You're making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love and we are seeing that. So there's a lot here that is happening for you as you're closing out the chapter of the past and you're really coming into this very fiery place of the present and into the unknown. Sending you much love, much light. Until next time, namaste.